I have a twin brother who lives in paradise and he called me the morning of November 8th and he said, we're all right. And I said, you're all right, what do you mean? He said, you haven't heard about the fires? I said, no. So when I get this call, I'm just shocked. I mean, it's like, here's my hometown. I had just been in paradise, oh, maybe three months before. And so I'd driven around town. I'd been to homes that we had lived in, a lot of these places. And then as I go into social media, I start to see these places are on fire. And it is terrifying. I was looking for ways to help. And so it wasn't like the natural thing I would think of, which also leads me to believe this was inspired. And I had this idea, get RVs, get travel trailers, do whatever it takes to give people a place to live. And that's when I started searching online through the classifieds and I started sorting going like, okay, so what do you look for? And I've seen these converted buses and you know, it's like, I don't know, I don't know what to buy. I don't know what to look for. And that's when I had the thought, oh, I could call my neighbor and I'll bet he would know what to do. He runs an RV dealership and he said, oh, I'll give you a motorhome. We've got one that we got as a trade-in. And he said, we'll be glad to give it to you. I don't know what it needs. And he said, it costs a couple hundred dollars to have my service guys go through it. Next day he called and said, hey, Barry, my guys won't accept money for it. They want to come in after hours to fix this up themselves. But since then, we've got 15 uh, motorhomes and trailers that have been donated that we've been going through and getting serviced and ready to haul out there. This all started really as a thought. Um, and I believe the spirit whispers to us. And just the thought was, you know, as you saw the story, I wonder if I could do something like that. And just a really simple thing to act on that impression. And then it is just continued from there. And I just think that's so important for each of us is not, is to act on these impressions, on these feelings as they come to us and not just slide them aside or feel like, oh, there's not much I can do. I'm not famous, I'm not rich, I'm not whatever. Versus saying, well, what am I? And I am a son of God or a child of God and I have things that I can offer and I was called to be on the earth at this time to be able to offer these things. I think he's grateful, proud to have us be his hands. Not only is it that we're doing his work, but we experience the joy that comes from the privilege of being about his work. And I think he loves that we want to be like him.